Are you having fun, Heather? I am. <laughs> oh, oh. Got our lights all bagged up. Painting the ceiling, folks. We've never had the ceiling in here painted before. In fact, Heather painted those yesterday. Um, I wanted to help, but it uh, didn't work out that way. No, I won't. I kind of I take that on for myself. Yeah. Yep. Uh, she enjoys the painting. So we're just doing the ceiling with just a... The color is called cotton. So we're just going to run over that. And we bought some flooring for in here too. It's unreal. We bought... We, we priced plywood just to put down... Is this just old OSB? This is just crappiest crap. We had, we had a rug on here. But we removed the rug. So uh, we priced plywood. And plywood was more expensive than that cheap laminate uh, put together type flooring. So obviously went for the, went for the, un by the time we bought the underlay and bought this uh, click together laminate flooring, it was a lot cheaper than it was to go with plywood. And I didn't want to mill material for the floor in here. You mill it and then it's got to sit for a long time before you can use it and we wanted to get it done. So we did, we sheeted all this wall in here. I guess I didn't even show you that, eh? We sheeted this wall in. This wall wasn't sheeted in before. So this is all done here and then, we sheeted that wall in over there as well and we just put bags we put those lights up so we put bags over those lights and then I did all up around here as well we close all that in um, put a light switch and a receptacle there now we're gonna build closets all along this wall here that's what's gonna happen there's gonna be closets all along there with a little corner spot maybe for Heather to sit if she wants to uh, but that's the view I, I think I wouldn't be surprised if I have to replace these patio doors as well because these patio doors are from the old house. Man, I bought these. I bet you I was probably 26 years old and I am 52 now. 51. 51, right, Heather? 51. 51. I'll be 52 in June. Yeah. But they're starting to fog over here. I see this. So there must be a seal broke in them. I can uh, draw stuff in there. And they get quite moist at night, so I think there's probably a bad seal. I think they've broken. That's a view from our bedroom. I don't think I've ever showed you this, have I? That's, that's the shed. And that is the view way down over there. I'll see if I can zoom in. That is our trail heading back to, the, uh, to one of our wood lots. So we have all these ravines here. Down over there, down over there is where the beaver dam is. And that's what... Yeah, that's a view from our bedroom. So when we wake up every morning, that is the view we see from our bed. I'm liking that. That's Heather's clothesline. So we have clothes up here in the summer. Sometimes we don't get a whole lot of view except for our clothes, but I don't mind that so much. But uh, anyways, Heather's moving right along here. So, so at the edge, she's gonna touch this up with a paintbrush at the edge here. That's what's gonna happen there. And then we're going to, uh, you know, just put up some put up some uh, pine trim somehow. And these joints there, we'll just cover with pine boards. You'll see, and we'll stain them dark. So any joint like that where she's working right now, that'll get covered over with uh, with some pine trim that we're going to uh, we're going to stain. And then we'll do the rest of the walls like this. See that pine halfway up there, uh, uh, a third of the way up. We're going to go around the walls with that stuff. Uh, except for, like I say, right here, that's going to be closets. But I'm going to get out of the way here before I get majorly dripped on. <laughs> we'll show you what it's like later. Hopefully we'll get this all done today. Hopefully. It is in the afternoon though, because we did go to town, but we'll work late on this. Hopefully we can get all of our flooring down as well. The underlay and the, uh, and that, uh, uh, laminate flooring. So... We'll let Heather get at this and uh, I'll help her. I'm gonna move some stuff down to the basement as well because we cleaned out the room here. We had too much stuff in here. So we're gonna go out that and clean that up as well. That is how it's looking now. Now that Heather's got that all painted up. So we will put a strip of uh, board down along these uh, joints here. So you won't see that once you put our trim up. This is just OSB for now. We may cover it in plywood or something later and paint it. We're not sure, but for now we wanted to get some kind of color in here. And I made an access door there, a panel to get into the bathtub. That's one thing we wanted so we can work on that uh, whirlpool motor if we ever have to. 
Anyways, that's how it's looking so far. Now we are about to start to lay down our floor. Uh, mm, we'll see how this goes. We'll see, it'll either work or it won't. I mean, uh, this is just OSB on here and when we built the house, before I put the roof on it, a long time ago this wood got wet, so it does a little bit of this, not too bad though. Now we got underlay for that uh, laminate flooring, so hopefully that'll work. We don't have a lot of traffic in this room, so it's not going to be all that big of a deal. Anyways, we're gonna get going on this. 6.50 p.m. folks, and we just got this done. It fit in here not too, too bad. Like I say, I'm not a pro at this stuff. Actually, it's probably the third time I've ever done it. I've done it once for my daughter, and then second time we did it in the pantry, third time in here. That's how it's looking. And we're talking, I think we're gonna remove those boards. I don't think we're keeping them in here. I think they will get taken out. But, I don't know how grainy that's showing up this evening because it is so dark. But, uh, anyways. That's how she's looking. We'll be right back at this again tomorrow. Doing some other stuff. We have the bathroom pretty far as well, but uh, we ran out of material for it, so we're going to get back at it as well very shortly. We need some more one inch. But I think this is the one inch we need for in the bathroom to, to match up with what's in the, around the bathtub. So I think I'll be removing that stuff and uh, using it in there, I think. I don't know if we really like that look. We're not sure yet. Anyways, at least the flooring is done now. Well, the bed's all back in here, folks. Oh, the floor, there's a little creaky, but not in here. But we will rectify that as well. So, uh, bed fits pretty nice in there. Yep, yep. Sorry if it's a little dark in here, folks. That's just the type of evening, and I don't have a good light on this camera. But, uh, so far, so good. I don't know how well this is gonna show up. I hope it shows up pretty good. But uh, yeah, all back together. Have that much room beside me. That's where I sleep on this side right here. Had to sleep on the outside. Tomorrow we have to go, we have to do a major clean up in here tomorrow, I tell you. We took everything out of the bedroom and put out in the living room and the kitchen, so it's a bit of a nightmare. We had a really large china cabinet in here too that belonged to Heather's mom, Heather's grandmother that, uh, that we brought in here. Uh, and we just removed it today and we set it down in the basement. So that's what we, you know, that was some of the stuff we did today. But it was nice to have this done. And it was just probably just a short little video, folks. We wanted to show you what's been going on here lately. For the last little while, we didn't record this because it was just so slow and tedious that we didn't bother. And you know, anyways, that's uh, that's what we were up to. We did did those lights, sheeted in that wall, sheeted in the rest of the walls around here, painted it, did the wiring in here, did the did the lights, uh, yeah, did the receptacle, installed those lights up there, uh, painted. Heather did the ceiling. Heather painted the walls, and then. We laid the flooring, Heather and I laid the flooring just this evening with the underlay under it. So it's feeling more like home now. Okay, anyways, you folks take care and we'll talk to you another time all. Bye-bye.